Right, let's get right into the next loop. And I'll still be doing the same thing, I think, pretty much. I like the rogue a bit more, because uh, the glass cannon type of style is much more suited for me anyway. And like, I don't know, man. I didn't have uh, good results with warrior on this uh, second boss, so before, so I don't know. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea, necessarily. So what is this? I got some new cards. Temporal Beacon, its light is so bright that it makes you forget about the passing of time. Each day passes 50% faster within its range. Okay. Time Watchers may, may join battles within its range. Time Watchers. They are afraid of vampires. What? Time Watchers. Okay, so some vampire synergy, I suppose. Ruins. The, this existence of this civilization ended long before the Lich's curse. But its remains can still be of use to you. Gives a random basic resource shot when passing through it. Spawns a Scorch Worm. Well, I do need to, like, check it out. I think, um... Do I even care about Grove that much, really? Let's go for Ruins for the Temporal Beacon as well. And, like, I can give up the Battlefield, because as a rogue I don't really need it, honestly. And, uh, just... Blood Grove, maybe? And just leave it like this. I would also like, I guess, to check out the Vampire Mansion. If I'm doing something with a Temporal Beacon. But I really wouldn't like to kill them, though. Let's try it without Vampires for now, and then I'll add them later and uh, see how it changes things. So yeah, Rogue and everything else is the same, pretty much. Traits are the same, yeah. I could, like, go and kill uh, the first boss. But, you know, why though? Why though? Let's just continue with this one. So, I checked the previous video. And indeed... Indeed... The boss had like... Times two pretty much in terms of both HP and damage. Um, that means... Pretty clearly that... Um, well... That it's probably the loop number acts as a multiplier to its stats, which means a lot of things, in fact, a lot of things. It means, first of all, that, um... Ruins may be there? There? Mm, there? There, I guess. It would be better to, like, get it a bit quicker so that I can, uh... Get to the campfire after beating it and uh, getting my loot. Anyway, I'm I'm. I'm what are, what is it talking about? Yeah, about the boss. So the boss is definitely getting stronger, which means that the idea would be that you need to actually get a good timing for it. Like you need to specifically do it at a very certain point, and. Uh, it shouldn't be too late, because otherwise the boss would be too strong for you, probably, because you can't really grow with that speed, though that's actually arguable, maybe you could, but that's another question. And also it shouldn't be like too quick, because you will just not be able to get your stuff quickly enough, you know? Uh, maybe like this. You need to be able to get all of the stuff and do like a very specific timing attack. And if you're a bit too late about it, or a bit too early about it, then it can end badly. That's the idea, I think. Which is like, okay, okay. Uh, I guess that's... That makes sense. So, what about this treasury? There, maybe? Yeah, maybe there. Just get some meadows and something. And, like, chrono crystals there, and chrono crystals maybe there. And some rocks. Road lantern can wait. It's fine. We'll see about it. What is this? It's a time watcher, I assume, because never, I've never seen it before. Watcher. Benefactor grants an ally 10 magic shield instead of attacking. Only once per ally will flee combat if there are no more valid targets. Fatalism. 
33% chance to receive only one damage from an attack, 33% chance to receive 150% damage. Okay. That's actually pretty annoying. That's pretty annoying. I, uh, yeah. So, uh, the question is, if I can't even really kill them, usually at least, why would I even uh, do that thing at all? Because it's, uh, it doesn't really improve my chances at all, and like, yeah. Doesn't seem like a good idea, really. Okay, look, here is the problem with rogues specifically. I... As long as I get to 11 trophies every loop, I can't really improve my chances further. Like, okay, I can get more XP if I just kill enemies, right? Like, that's true, I can get more XP. But then again, like... That's it, though. And it, at most, it would allow me to get, like, one more trait eventually. Maybe. But that's all about, like... That's that's about it in terms of improvements. I can't really get any more. Oh, this is a horrible. Can you like reroll this, please? Uh, old scars gets plus one max HP for each trophy he gets. Probably not. This is good, but maybe I should get it later. Maybe just go for fencing for now. Fencing is pretty good as well. Yeah, let's go for fencing. Um. Yeah, well, I guess, like, just set it there somewhere. Like, it's just... Yes, I could get, like, one more trade, but I would need to do so many more fights for that. Is it even worth it? Also, okay, goblin camps are a problem, but I'm destroying this thing, temporal beacon. This is horrible. I hate it. I hate it so much. I will try the vampire synergy, like... But yeah, it's just so not worth it. It's horrible, man. You can't even kill them. Like, it's not even that you get more, like, XP and resources for it. It's just... You don't get anything whatsoever. Like, just more damage on you, which is not a good thing. Exactly. Um, yeah, pure damage. Oh, this is actually pretty good. A lot of damage. But then just even slightly more evasion and damage to all is probably better. And just get more armor. Or HP in that case. So they don't actually go away from their ruins. I can probably set up another ruin somewhere, like, around this place. Mm, I can fight them, they're not a problem, really. Yeah, sure, let's try it. Just to get more resources. And they don't seem to be that dangerous anyway, so why not? Um, yeah, something like that. More meadows. Just get some more region for now. It's more important than all of this stuff. Spider cocoons is fine, I guess. I don't know, man. Mm, maybe at this point, spider cocoons are okay. I don't know if I have enough enemies yet, that's the issue. Do I need more? I guess another problem is that you cannot actually summon the boss that early, unless you just set up more stuff. I don't like this goblin. Goblin camp, specifically. Okay, at least I will set up a lantern there. It will help a little bit. Okay, let's finish the treasury, actually. Um, any good stuff? This is uh, not a good stuff, no. This is decent, but like, I don't really care about crits at the moment. They don't really do anything, you know. This is better though, more evasion. And the rest is like, eh? It's more HP, it's fine. 
Yeah, so I can't really summon the boss as quickly if I don't put up more, more of the, you know, monster spawning things. So ideally, I would like just to get more of the buffing things. Ideally. But, you know, I don't really have a lot of a choice on the matter, so... Meadows, yeah. I think you don't really need a lot of the monster spawn things. It's mostly that you just want... Brass candlestick. Oh, that's just for the camp. I see. I'll just uh, destroy the goblin camp, really. I hate it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So... One thing you could do, you could actually loop a lot until the point where, like, you max your evasion, because it caps somewhere for sure, but where? Like, if it caps at, like, for example, 90%, then I could still, I think, outgrow the boss. Because, uh, just purely because of my evasion, even. It would be better if I had, like, vampirism or something, but even without it, it's still kind of good enough. Yeah, that's another, like, uh, way to actually potentially improve. Attack speed is good. Level 8. That's definitely better. Yeah, and then this is just too much HP to ignore. Something like that. Like, maybe the idea is that the more stuff you get, like, the more trophies you get, the lower level stuff will get, like, dropped when you receive loot, instead of, like, higher level. And it will still do something, even if you get, like, 20 trophies or, like, 30 trophies or something. Maybe that's the case, I don't know. Those skeletons are actually also packing a punch. They are not exactly harmless. Rocks are good. Beacon is fine. Let's just set it up there. Okay, I can finish the treasury. Get some more meadows, I suppose, yeah. Uh, let's just increase the region as much as I can. What about those weapons? It's not a good one. This is a better one, technically, than what I have. Not by much, though. Level 9. Um, yeah, well, this is better than this level 5 maze, for sure. This is actually kinda, maybe even better. Then my current uh, armor, and the rest is like too low level to care. Is this better? 50 HP, it's very close, it doesn't matter, I'll just leave it like that. Mountain is happening. I guess I'll just set up a Chrono Crystal there as well, why not? That's fun. Ruins are, like, okay, especially for a rogue, since since I, uh, I don't really seem to care who to kill. Like, I still, get, I still get trophies from them. Though, I think trophies might be also, like, unique, monster-related, so you still get the same loot that you would have got as in any other case, but just, like, later, you know? I think that is probably the case, that is probably how it works. It's unclear, I cannot really check it, like the game doesn't allow me to go into trophies menu and check it. And by the way, I had, I had this all this time. Yes, yes, okay. But I actually don't really want Blissful Ignorance yet. So maybe I just wait with that. I don't really need to do anything at the moment. Let's actually get some more spiders. I don't think it's a problem, really. Spiders are pretty easy to kill, so honestly just farm them. 
and it's fine. I don't think it's a problem. I can get Blissful Ignorance later and just uh, destroy that if I don't really want to see it anymore. Oh, there was a goblin camp. I didn't notice it. God damn it. Might die there even. Do I just go for Blissful Ignorance? Might be a good idea, really. Well, I shouldn't die immediately. Especially, like, with those boots. Uh, well, can't really say anything good about everything else. Can get a bit of an improvement with my weapons, but, uh, yeah. Not a huge fan of any of those. 24% attack speed is honestly probably better. 16... Yeah, it's better. It's technically better than um, my first sword, at least. I actually do get more DPS with that. And rock is a go. So I can get Blissful Ignorance and just kill those goblins. And the goblin camp as well. But maybe I should just wait. Is it that bad, really? It's not that bad, right? I can manage this. Groves I'm not sure about. Groves are actually pretty nasty. And those skeletons are also pretty nasty, by the way. Or they can be if they respawn. It happens sometimes. And it's not... Uh, I'm not happy saying that, usually. Hmm. Do I set up more ruins? That's the question. Not so sure about that, really. Ruins are fine, but, like, you kinda need to set them up apart from other places, because they, uh, you know, participate in ranged combat, which is not good for me. Okay, some more stuff. Evasion bonus is really good. It's better than my additional weapon, for sure. With my second weapon. Probably not. Probably yes. I would say it's better. Level 12 actually. That is even better than that. And the rest is like whatever. So I'm not sure what to do. Should I just try to get my stuff to... Um, get my evasion maxed and then tackle the boss? Because I don't think I'm killing the boss yet. Like, at this point. But maybe I can outgrow it. If I just get enough evasion. Maybe that would be fine. I'm definitely destroying the goblin camp. The first chance I get, really. I kinda hate it. Okay. That's not a lot of HP. Man, those skeletons are nasty. Look at this. Almost died. For no reason. I have to get uh, Blissful Ignorance now. And I guess, like, Piki. Let's try Piki and let's maybe get something better. Oh yeah, so look. I do need to destroy some things. Those skeletons kind of have to go away. Because I... I just die if I don't. And that wouldn't be good for anyone. Cemetery maybe another one. And maybe even this one. I kind of hate them at the moment. Maybe I'll just set up something new instead, but not cemeteries, though. They just do too much damage. Can't really handle that. More meadows is fine. Maybe there. Can't really use crystals anymore, but there will be crystals eventually there, so... Okay, I do need to use Oblivions, even if I don't really want to use the Spider Cocoons, for example. I should just set them just so that I can use Oblivion on them. I should never lose them, really. Same with this thing. Okay, I can definitely do at least one more loop, and I'm not sure if I can actually continue with this run after that. Because, you know... 
is not exactly that good of a situation. But I have 74% evasion. That should count for something. Uh, Meadows... Yeah, I mean, sure. Ruins, probably. I can just destroy them, that's... That's about it, really. I can actually, like, set them up there and just destroy them with the harpy that just got to this place. Okay, right. so I... yeah, I guess uh, attack speed is still better. Kinda, but also kinda not. I would say at this point it gets a bit... Yeah, this thing is definitely better than attack speed, let's be real. Counter, and then uh, just much more damage. Definitely. Yeah, something like that. I would like to get a bit more evasion though, because... Like, if I had to guess... Where evasion caps at, I would assume it was like maybe 75%. Most likely one. So, yeah, if I... Uh, I need to check if that's the case, and... Uh, and get it there, I suppose. And I'm already almost there, so I just need like a slight improvement to my boots or something. And that would be good enough. It should not be that difficult, considering that I have a... Uh, I, I don't like this goblin camp. Uh, shouldn't be that difficult, considering that I have just normal boots, even th if they are tier 13. But, you know, they're just normal. Surely I can get something better. Nope. Nope. Axe, probably not. Dirk, probably not. I hate all of that. Oh, this is garbage. Yeah, I'm just skipping all of this. I could set I could set up a grove. Grove is like fine, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I don't hate it. I'll probably regret it if I do though. Cause really. Really, I don't need it. Like, I'm uh Perfectly fine with the stuff that I have currently. Just for more loot? Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I can convince myself on that matter. It doesn't seem that good to me. That's a lot of treasuries. Can I actually get them to work? I'm not so sure about that. Let's see. Spider cocoons. Spiders are fine. I don't care that much about them. I can get more spiders actually, you know what? It's kind of fine. Like, if I do, for example, a lantern... There's no good place for it. Maybe like there? And maybe, like, get a spider cocoon somewhere there. This should not be horrible. I still don't cover, like, all of the tiles, but I don't know. Maybe it's okay. And then get more mountains. Yeah, I don't know about cemetery. The skeletons just do too much damage, man. I can't really deal with that. Way too much damage. Road Lantern? Well, I don't know. I can set up another spider cocoon. Do I want to? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, you know what, actually? I can uh, set it up there to reduce the number of those worms a bit. I don't really like them, so... Okay, what do we have? Level 13. That's just a better version of my existing weapon. Evasion, evasion, counter. And it's worse than my current boots. Perfect, just what I wanted, right? Oh, that's good though. Okay, uh, so I can see if this if this is indeed 75% that is... Wait, what? Why did my evasion fall? Did I get it from uh, somewhere else and I didn't notice it? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, well, whatever, whatever. Um, that's effect of life, I suppose. 
Yeah, maybe, maybe I actually removed one of my weapons that gave it. I'll need to pay attention for... Um, I just need to test how high the evasion can go. That is important. So yeah, I, d I definitely need to pay attention for that. Um, yeah, I don't really care about any of those. I can set up a spider cocoon though. I can. It's not a big deal. Let's like set it up there or something. Spiders are not uh, an issue. I don't really care about them as much. How much resources do I have, by the way? That's a decent amount, I guess. I don't actually get a lot of wood because I don't set any groves. That is interesting. Yeah, that's a reason to set up at least one grove. You know, just to get something. That's a good point. That's a good point. Just for the strategic layer. Oh, god damn it. There is a goblin camp again. Please no. And get some more chrono crystals, sure. And that's always good. Some more meadows. So I'm still not sure if I should be going for for the boss this time. I'm not sure. I'll need to think about it. I should be using Oblivions from my left side. They will go away first, and I don't really want that to happen. Do I want to Oblivion something in particular? I don't know exactly. Like, just spider cocoons? I can just, like, Oblivion those harpies, for example. Or just this random slime. Or just this gargoyle. I don't know. I don't really need to destroy anything, so like, you know, I don't really have a good target for it. Should have destroyed the harpies, now that I look at it. What is this? Where did it come from? This is nasty. Okay. I don't think I can beat the boss currently, so... Not a lot that I can do, really. That's good, that's evasion bonus, actually. I would say it's better than um, spear. Yeah, that's better than spear. And what about this evasion? Still don't have enough. Okay. There's a lot of damage. Okay, this is better, even though it's a bit worse in terms of evasion. Is it better by any chance than my scimitar? Not really. Hmm... I do need evasion. No, I think this is all not good enough. Leave it locked for now. I need everything locked that gives evasion just to test it out and maybe potentially like to get somewhere after that testing. I just need to test it. I don't really need to take it. The problem is, if I just put it in my uh, active slot to test it right now, then my old weapon goes away forever, and I don't really want that to happen. So I can only test it when I get a replacement weapon already, you know? And for that I need to find that replacement weapon first. So those things that give more evasion just have to wait a little bit until I get to that point. And then maybe I'll test it out and uh, do something about it. I can still set up more meadows, but, uh... But yeah, we're getting closer to the boss, though, so... Yeah, I guess just mountains and rocks for now. It's kinda good enough, but yeah, we're getting dangerously close. I should destroy one of the spider cocoons at this point. Maybe even both of them. Okay, treasury is a go. Somewhere there, I guess. Why not? Or even there, why not? Um, yeah, and just the road lantern, maybe there. And I can set up, like, more spider cocoons just to destroy them immediately. That could be a thing. That's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Oh yeah, look. 
I don't want to deal with those three slimes, so what I will do is I'll place like the ruins there, for example. And then I'll just destroy it. Along with the ruins and with the slimes as well. I still have two oblivions. I can heal somewhat with that. I think on this loop I'll just decide it if I want to continue or not with this run. Uh, that's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. But I don't really want to lose my evasion. This might be better than attack speed though. Or it might not be, but there is a chance it's better. Tough to like evaluate exactly. Oof, that's so strong. So let's actually try it out. I'll uh, equip this Qatar, but first of all, I want to equip this Dirk instead and see if my evasion goes up high enough. So I should get 81%. How much do I get? 75. Okay, yeah. That's what I would have assumed. So 75% is maximum. Which means, okay, that's fine. I can just replace it with Qatar and uh, just continue like that. But yeah, it's good to know, good to know. So that is still important. Like increasing my evasion from 32 to 25 is like increasing my survivability by about 25%-ish. That's a lot. So, well, 22, 23%-ish, I suppose. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's a lot, though. That's a lot. So, I do want... I do definitely want to get it maxed, if possible. But then again, I'm not sure I'm even fighting the boss. Can I kill the boss? I don't think so. Realistically, right? Can I kill it? I think I should just treat it as a resource run and just uh, go back to the to the camp. Well, first of all, I definitely do want to get some. I do want to get some trades, some experience for the trades, and see what trade do I get. But I don't think I'm being beating the boss currently. I don't think that's possible. Hmm. Would be good, but I just don't think it, uh, happen it is happening at the moment. I can get full heal. That is definitely a thing, yes. But like, I think I just need more grinding to be able to even uh, get to the point where the boss is remotely killable. And I'm just not there yet. So, uh, wait, 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 wait. I don't really want to lose my oblivion. So let's kill the one of the like spider places, and um, I guess I can kill like one of the beacons or something. I do want to get this treasury filled up. But I cannot fill up the next treasury unless I want to summon the boss. And I don't really want to summon the boss. So I need to... Um, I need to decide there. Right there. Do I want to return? I think my chances at the boss... They're not zero. But they're very close to zero at the moment. I will get another trade, but I didn't have, like, any good trades whatsoever. Well, I need, like, really OP trades. I need Resurrection, and I need a Shield to have a chance. And I didn't get any. And, like, all of my stuff is a bit underpowered, I think. Mm, it's, like, okay-ish, I guess. It's, it's of an appropriate level, but... Uh, I don't know if it's good enough. I think I should just treat it as a resource run at the moment. I can't really do much. I think I'm just dying if I go for the boss. Yeah, let's go back. Yep. So, do I... Can I build anything else? Yeah, I can build a crypt and also a mud hut. You can give resources... Re residence furniture or food to store. A hovel made of sticks and mud houses only one person. Every resident brings you closer to victory. Build more houses. What victory? Crypt. Placed near the cemetery, the final resting place of an ancient hero. Both magic and the unstable state of the world ha have taken a toll on it. 
Maybe its history will awaken some of uh, some new qualities in you. Unlocks a new class Necromancer. Interesting. Unlocks the Ancestral Crypt Golden card if the Intel Center is built. Let's try it out, sure. And uh, if I have resources still, I'll build a Mud Hut as well, but for now... Oh, okay. So not much of a choice. Oh, you're interested too, no? Not everybody appreciates, not everybody understands. The people can serve you, not just with their voices, but with their bones, swords, bows. And they're not evil if you're not afraid. You're right, I only need to raise my hand and... Wait, I've never done anything like this before. If I, uh, remember correctly. The craft... The craft teaches itself, often through books or words, but it taught you through walls and stones. Unusual. So I will definitely test this out, and I can still uh, build a mud hut. Yeah, I guess so. Let's see what this is all about. Why not? I don't really care. I guess like there, for example. What does that do? We're one step closer from the humble camp to a proud village, even though it's just a hut half buried in mud. But we're honestly grateful. The people are very exhausted, body and mind. Some private space to call home will make anyone happier. Uh, what does it do? What is this? Upgrade building. Okay. Uh, camps, items, slots. Slots for supplies, you mean. And I can equip them, and they, like, get, okay, they get me some stuff. So that's just the stuff that I can equip to, like, you know, trinkets. Oh, yeah. Press candlestick, mostly just a piece of art, but still quite useful. It's a real waste to burn three candles at once, but who can refuse the comfort of some warm light in these dark times? The hero's damage is increased by 5% when he's within the range of a road lantern or on or a beacon. Effects don't stack. This is really, really, really good, and it also actually gives some value to the beacon specifically. Now, there is actually a reason to build it. A knife made for working with animal skins, not in mint condition, but still quite useful in capable hands. 10% chance to receive one ration after killing a red wolf. Uh, plus 5 heroes damage against all red wolves. Okay, that makes it better to uh, kill the... Um, to do groves. Like, besides just getting more wood from them, you know, it's pretty good. The best weapon if you get in a fight with a mountain, miner's pick. Any other rock won't have a chance against it either, of course. Plus one more preserved pebble while passing through the campfire tile. So, just one more preserved pebble every loop. Not like what I would want, but that's fine, I guess. Um, okay, and then I can upgrade it to get, like, more slots, right? But okay, oi, oi, oi. but what is this, though? If that's it, this is furniture, what is this, then? This is an X icon, look at it. There is no X icon anywhere. But there is none of it. Furniture, yeah, there is furniture, but there is no X. Do they mean like this? Instruments? Tools? But why is the icon different? Weird. Uh, maybe, I don't know, man. Um, I can craft some more things, but do I really need to? Like, can I use those uh, metamorphoses anywhere? The world's ability to change and transform was carefully detached from its existence, put into an orb and destroyed. It's nice that it isn't irreversible. Uh, do I really even need it for anything? I do need food supply for stuff. But like, I can get it though. Uh, maybe? Maybe I can get it? I don't know. So each building gives me some of those slots, right? That I can fill up with some trinkets to just improve my, like, overall chances. Okay. Okay, I I guess I see. They're just grinding stuff, pretty much. So that you get gradually stronger with every run. Okay, I see the point. I think I'll cut the video there. And in the next run, I think I'll try the Necromancer. Why not? And we'll see how it goes. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.